to steer my head in, this job will not end. He's invented a new style of lighting. Is it like feeding a horse oats? It's pretty rubbish, pretty trash. Chef's kiss, through the mask. Ow, 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 ow. Cut. So we've got a lot to do today. We've got all the EICR remedials, and on top of that, a few bits for a bathroom renovation that's going on upstairs, so we'll get straight into it. Right, so I've managed to get hold of more batteries than probably is in the whole of Jordan's little transporter. This will probably triple the triple the life of them all of this, and they've all arrived fully charged as well, which is probably against regulations for transporting batteries, but no problem. Right, let's see if they actually work. Perfect, that works great. Cool, right then, let's get the uh, batteries through to the garage. <laughs> Just lock them out. I'm gonna let you find a solution to this. As you'll see, mm -hmm. it's a little bit more complicated. And I could probably find a way for you. It's probably better that you try and find a way yourself. So obviously, safe isolate, mm -hmm. get that fitting down, see how much slack you've gotten things on the cable, and see if you can just find the most efficient way to make it work, whether it be clip the cables along the joist, mm -hmm. mount this, drill a hole out at an angle and pop it through, or I'll let you try and find your own way. Cool. So to give you just a bit of context on the job, I've come and done an EICR here um, and now we're just putting through any recommendations or remedial work that suggested should be done and um, that's what we're working on at the minute. So the things like the batten in the garage, that was just a customer request because he said it takes too long to come on so the customer has requested us to change those but one of the things was in here, these light fittings weren't fire rated. So it's a good idea in England it's kind of regulation anyways that in downstairs floors we try and compartmentalize the properties as much as possible with burn times and um, plasterboard and all that kind of thing and uh, you want your light fittings to not be a weak point in that you can see here this one's not got anything above it tell me what you'd code that in the comments and then i'll tell you what i've coded it afterwards code one imminent danger house is about to explode fail, do something about it right now. Code two, there's definitely a real threat there, still a fail. Code three, improvement recommended, but you know you don't have to do it in order to get a pass certificate. It's just, it's just a recommendation, a bit like on a MOT, you might have advisories, that kind of thing. You tell me what you'd code this. The customer has asked us to replace them anyways. So we'll be swapping these for some the JCC V50s which are fire rated as standard so we'll crack on with that and show you the next job. Here's the tool of the day, it's been tool of the day many times before like the famous pipe incident it was very handy. I don't actually buy it for that, I buy it for just carrying stuff into and out of jobs and it's just like a reusable man bag but it's handy when you're going into lofts and things like that you can just shove everything you need, all the materials, all your fixings, tools bring it all up in one bag, or if you're working out in a muddy garden or something, it's quite nice as well. Right, let's go upstairs. Right, so in here, we're replacing the, uh, the bathroom extractor fan, which is in the loft. I'll show you a little tip for that to help reduce the noise when it starts up and you hear it rattling on the beams. So, we're gonna be replacing that extractor fan, fitting some downlighters, getting rid of this. We're gonna put a shaver point in, just over here, behind the door, um, and, They've got a shower that's been installed, as you can see. So we need to do power for the pump for that. Do a little materials drop, just put all materials in each room. So that, <laughs> so that when I'm with Ruben, I don't have to waste time like going backwards and forwards. I just, we know that room, boom, boom, boom. This room, boom, 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 boom. Right, so the pump has been installed at the back there. There's the plug for it. On this wall here, literally on the other side, there's a socket. So what I'm hoping we can do is just punch through extend the ring round. In fact, no, one of the other jobs here, which was a code two on my certificate, was an incomplete R1 reading on the ring. So I'm actually down rating upstairs to a uh, radial. Just cannot find where it's broken, taking all the points off and things. So when it gets to that point, you think it could just be a joint. Someone split the ring badly at some point in the past or a junction box somewhere, but either you can investigate and investigate and investigate and still potentially not find it, you can rewire it, which sometimes, like in this situation, is unrealistic, or you can just downrate the breaker to protect them 2.5mm legs that are on their own. Got to swap this light fitting 
and you might notice <laughs> you've just got some flex coming down there. I don't really like going in lofts too much on a periodic inspection um, or lifting floorboards or anything of that nature, but I did end up going in the loft here and I'll show you why in a minute. But when you see that with no earth, that usually to me indicates that there was a ceiling rose here at one point, but they've pushed it above the ceiling and they've just popped the flex to, through to put a new fitting on. Um, so that means that there's a not properly rated junction box above the ceiling. So that'll have to be swapped for a Wago box and a piece of flex pushed through. Another little fact for you, why do you think that this light fitting here is not in the center of the room? It's over by the window. A bit strange, isn't it? Because usually now in a new build, it always goes in the center. Reason is, it comes from the days, early days of electricity. So this tells me this is quite old wiring, or when it's been rewired, they've just popped it through to the old point rather than bothered move, uh, moving it back into the center. Olden times, nets in the windows, you didn't want your ladies in the middle of the room getting dressed and the shadow of her naked body being cast out into the street. So the idea being, put the light by the window and you can be naked here without them seeing your naked body. So that's why they put them there, by the window. All right, I'll smash this out. Exactly as expected and predicted, almost as if I already saw it on the ICR. We have a, uh, this, which is so common. People put in a light fit in the yard, I can't fit all those cables in there. We'll have to shove them above the ceiling and just drop the uh, drop the ceiling rose flex through, but that's not really not really the way to do it. Show you show you the proper way to do it. So I just got a splinter off that. It's really annoying. Switch line, get that out. Oh man. Don't you just love it when people do this on lighting circuits? It makes it so much more fun. Right, that is the switch line. I'll just remember that. I'll just bend that over. I know that that's the switch line. And then feed in, feed out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Do you know the opposite of um, easy peasy, lemon squeezy? Opposite of easy peasy, Lemon squeezy is a stress depressed lemon zest. Perfect timing actually, I need a few bits. So what we have here, so we'll have the feed in and feed out, line and neutral, well, and earth obviously. So they go together, and we've got the switch line, which takes the power from the feed, out through a switch, back to the light fitting, through the light fitting, back to the neutral. Simples. Right, so that's one task done. So made that safe. I popped the flex through out the uh, out the light fitting. Now I just need to go to the other side, pull that out, and I can wire it in. Let's see what else is to be done up here. Sort this lighting out, flip, what a mess. It's got a ton of tightly stretched cables and junction boxes, all kind of doing nothing. So what I'm thinking is, pull it all out, start again. Best way to go about it usually. Um, if you could chuck up the fan there. Right, so this is the trashy fan that has failed. Let's get rid of that. We've got this big boy here going in. Obviously you can't just sit it loose because we're not cowboys. So I'm going to cut a piece of sheet wood and stick that there. But I'll show you how I do it to reduce noise. So what I'm going to do now, I'll get some 20 mil or 25 mil grommets. I'm going to make a little bed of grommets for this thing to lay on to 
to reduce vibration of the fan starting up. It's the most annoying thing when you start up a fan and you hear the of the whole loft shaking and rattling. Build a little bed of rubber and then you're laughing. That will just insulate it slightly. Lay that on there. Oh, we just bang a screw through there. We'll put four more of these down there. Screw through the rubber feet onto that mat. Even more insulation against the rattling and sound of this thing. Right, there we go. Got a nice little bed of thema bobs. So now I just need to put a cable tie around that and a bit of tape. But that is a nicely insulated hopefully reduced sound way more powerful inline fan and i'm going to wire that in when i wire in all the spotlights and stuff chef's kiss through the mask so while corey and the cameraman have been messed about in the loft i've fitted the led baton as opposed to the uh, fluorescent light um, and once the breaker on hopefully that should come on uh, i don't see why not so now i'm just going around in this kitchen because the down lights weren't fire rated before just switching them over to these uh, JCC lights that we usually use. Cameraman's just asked, what is a simp? I don't really know. I don't know if I, don't know if I want an urban dictionary, really. A bit of a dangerous place to be. I oh, will. I'm, I'm a bit of a simp. Simp definition. A silly or foolish person. No, that's not what it means. That's it. <laughs> Brian, shut up, you simp. I bought her a car and a whole house, and we're not even dating. Ben is a major simp for ditching us for these. Talking about the garden tool. Yeah, that's a simp. Someone who just gives a little bit too much for himself. Too quick. I'll stay in here and wait for it to pop through. Go for it. Yep. Yeah. Ding, bang, bop. Another socket. So we've uh, drilled through the back of that socket on the other side of the wall and slight change of plan, we're just going to put the socket exactly where it's come through. Uh, the only issue is there's a big fat boiler in the way. <laughs> so I'll have to do some, you know, major acrobatics to get that screwed into the wall. Me and the cameraman just had a debate because every time we go to clip cables or put trunk it in uh, when it will look better. The cameraman has just argued that it doesn't. Um, and I pointed out that there was trunk in here. And then he said, oh, I didn't see that side. And then, what's this then? What's this? He didn't notice. It looks better. See, if there was a big old grey cable running around the wall, all wiggly, you'd notice it, wouldn't you? Yeah, probably. Exactly. Just trying to mount this light, IKEA light fitting, which... I'm not actually saying in a bad way, I dig, I dig Ikea, big time. Go in for some lingonberry jam and chips and you end up coming out with a schloffen spell. I see all the uh, Swedish will know what I just said there. A bit naughty. What do you reckon about there? That much slack? I'm not sure how, how long they want this thing. Screw hook? I don't know what you'd call it. Right, so I'm going to go get a little hook, a little cup hook for putting that light up. I'll show you what it is when I get back. And just a couple of little bits and pieces for the fan. So while I'm going and Garrett grabbing those bits, I'm going to let Ruben take over and I'll see you shortly. So while Corey's out getting some bits, I'm not even sure what he's getting to be honest. But I'm going to be putting in two LED buttons uh, just along the top of this loft. We're getting rid of this light as well. And I'm going to take the feed that goes to here, just down to the switch. And then from the switch, just through to both the lights, because it's just easier that way. Did Corey bring the uh, sleeve up here? Feed it into common. Just want it to be Friday. This is actually perfect for my height. So 
It's actually really nice. Mm. That is really good. <laughs> I also got you a Kinder Egg. Oh, thank you. You're not allowed it until we finish the job. I'm going to put it here safe with the cancer can. Don't put it too close to Max. I've already got Max two packs of, of knickknacks. He should be satisfied for 30 seconds. <laughs> Has he already got through that pack? Flipping heck, it's like his seventh pack today, isn't it? Anymore? I just got Ruben his first can of Monster. Yeah! <laughs> 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 it's already taken effect. I'm numb to it now. But this boy, oh no. He's losing his, losing his man. Well, a bit further over that way, so it's like equal on the joists. Uh, not Joyce. I'm just thinking about getting some light over there. Oh, Maybe we can go a bit so. further. I want to stuff it up. Stuff it up, mate. Stuff it I up. Mean, I mean, the lock's not would be beautiful. The one that you just chucked on the floor would actually be quite nice if it was in my hand right now. Do you want have half your Kinder Egg? Maybe the... Do you want have half a Kinder Egg? No, I'll just end up eating it all. Well, no, I was what, not giving you a choice. I was going to have, to have <laughs> half, yeah. <laughs> Second fix the, uh, the last cable yeah. off that drum and... Um, I'll handle it from there. After these lights, what's left to do? Still a little bit, mate. Ruben, just eat your Kinder Egg, man. Come on, look, I've opened it. Really inconvenient if it's split perfectly in two. Give me that, you can have that, and you can have the toy as well. I'm just gonna put it in this bucket here for you, so it stays safe. Leave plenty of slack, cut it like there, yeah. and, and then fold it back on itself. Get both of them wired up. Right there, swap that for a Wago box. There's yeah. your Wagos. Crack the diddly darn on. Yeah. We're gonna go downstairs. I think this RCD is knackered because it's not holding and it's really annoying. Super annoying timing. One thing that is good, I managed to nick Jordan's old fluke. So I'm not using that ridiculous toy tester that I was given to work with, the Matrell. So I think the problem is actually the RCD itself might be knackered, which is such annoying timing for it to give up the ghost. Let's just test and see if we can get a ramp test on it. Because it's holding with no load. But as soon as I switch any of the breakers on, even circuits we're not working on, boom, trip. Hager RCD at this time of night. Where am I going to get one? Maybe I'll try swapping them quickly. Just to confirm that is what it is. Cooker. Not touch the cooker. Boiler. Look, literally gone nowhere near the boiler. That just goes straight up through the wall. Not touched. The minute I turn it on, boom. Trip. Trip. Let's do an installation resistance. Dead short. Dead short. Dead short, dead short, something's wrong. Lights, did the extension lights go there? This board is just wired, completely screw. And look, that neutral goes to that cable there, that live, oh no it does, it comes over to here, oh what a mess. All right, so now everything's holding, we've narrowed it down to that. The short is obviously such a dead short between this lighting circuit that it is um, tracking back down the earth and blowing between line and earth, which is why I wanted to disconnect the neutral. And I bet the minute I touch this, it'll probably trip the RCD. Even though that circuit's off, it's potentially still enough to, yeah, to trip it. So there you go, there's your problem there. So hopefully it wasn't the RCD after all. So that's, that's dandy that. Let's put the bar back in and see if we can get this RCD live. Basically, Ruben's wired these up. I think I know what he's done. He's done that light, then this light. He's plugged it in, gone onto that light, pulled the slack through to get to that one, the end of line, and now this has been unplugged, and that's the driver somewhere there in the middle. So I don't know exactly know how I'm going to get that because I'm not going to get my hand up there because it's just slightly too fat. I'll get my cable ferret up there. There you go. So there's my driver. See that little green thing? All the way over there. I'm gonna set this camera up and get my arm in there. Ow, 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 Ah, oh, we're in. Oh, <laughs> that's as far as I can get. Is that the wire there? 
that one goes over the top of it. Oh, come on. Are you drafting? There's a stupid junction box there in the middle. That's what I'm bouncing. So this cable goes all the way round, along, and then off. Don't touch them. Thank you. Is it like feeding a horse oats? Super rod to the rescue, as the slogan says. Let's see if we can actually save the day with this. I think even that will be enough. It's right on the end of my fingers just to pop it back. It's funny, in so many videos I use sarcasm. Like, I say, oh, if only I had a Wi-Fi camera or some sort of endoscopic camera because, look, there we go. Pick your nose with it. Um, it'd be so handy. And I said that because I literally use this all the time, thinking people will get my sarcasm. There we go. There it is. That's the one, isn't it? Oh, I had it. We got him. Bing bang. Walla walla bing bang. Ooh he. Ooh ah ah. Right. Found the fault. It was basically not the RCD giving up the ghost. It was basically, I'd connected in a cable for the shaver circuit, the shaver point off of the lighting circuit in the loft, off of one of the junction boxes, which I made maintenance free. Problem being, um, although it was dead, the end of the twin and earth, where it was the end of the reel, you saw me reeling it off earlier. At the end of the reel, they try to squish up the cable. So the line and neutral, sorry, the earth and neutral were touching. And because, all the other countries right now, all the European countries and probably a lot of the American states are laughing in electrical reg superiority. <laughs> a bit like the Jeff Bezos laugh. Can we please put that in the ha 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 ha? Hell yes. <laughs> <laughs> they're laughing in electrical reg. They're laughing in a reg. A reg they're laughing in electrical regulation superiority because they uh, we don't use double pole MCBs in this country and we barely ever use double pole RCBOs. So basically it's pretty rubbish, pretty trash. So even if your RCD is, um, even if your MCB is isolated, if you touch the neutral and earth, trip the RCD, which is really annoying. So that short that was getting the perfect short was because basically all three cables on that um, on that disconnected conductor were twisted together so even though it wasn't even turned on and live it was enough to trip it there you have it that was the fault right so you can see here some of the things that i've uh, marked on the certificate it's dangerous with pictures thanks jordan um so you've got the junction box there that's something that has been got rid of. It's quite handy having the EICR report so you can actually go through and look for it and find all the places where it's gone wrong. I can see single insulated cable, just improvement recommended, that kind of thing. So quite a handy way of doing certificates, spending the time doing it a bit more detailed now so that when I come back I don't have to faff around um, like remembering what was done. I'm only filming this because, just in case you think we hide our mistakes at Artisan, I'll just demonstrate something for you. <laughs> Off, is that one on? On, is that one on? Um, I'm recording this for a record of Ruben's training. One day when he is a super spark, which he will be, he'll look back and laugh at these mistakes that you make. But it's probably quite funny to record for now. He's invented a new style of lighting. It's the optional dimmer. Left for that one, right for that one. Should probably go put right the junction box that he's done. I don't even think we've got that on camera, but he did. A, he replaced a couple of the ceiling roses as well. Probably should fix that. Let's turn my head in. This job will not end. Yeah, both on. Oh, no, no, no. The one furthest you is on. So the one that's underneath me stays on regardless? No, no, the, the one that 
is under you, just turned off. I think you've just mixed up a switch sign and a feed. Easy mistake to make. Uh, yeah, both on. Touch them together. Uh, both on. There you go. He switched up a mix line, a switch line and a feed. No worries. Right, let's get, let's get, carry on getting tidy, getting back together. In fact, you need to tidy up up here, mate. All right, so that was an easy mistake to make. It's just the the wiring that's in this place is just very, it's very aged and um, not very well labelled or anything. And it's just that he's mixed up a uh, a switch line and a load, hence why it was switching between them. Right, that is all for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. Any suggestions or things you'd like to see in the next video, whack them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.